solutions to problems in geophysics we have question number two so let's first read the question calculate the geodetic and geocentric latitudes of a point p on the ellipsoid whose radius vector is 67 0.031 kilometer given that m is equal 3.4425 into 10 to the power minus 3 C is equal to 6356.742 km is the polar radius. Determine J2 and beta. Gm is equal to 39.86005 into 10 to the power 13 meter cube per second square. G is here the universal gravitational constant and M is the mass of the earth. The product of these two is given. So what we have to calculate here. We have to find first what is geodetic and geocentric uh, this uh, radius and then uh, these uh, latitudes. Then we have to find uh, J2 and beta. So four things we have to find here. So this is a very compact problem. So we have to calculate the four parameters here. So first of all, uh, let me consider here an ellipsoid. This is an ellipsoid. And uh, for this ellipsoid, we have the equatorial radius A and the polar radius is C. Now, this is the point here, suppose point P, whose radius vector is R, such that it is geocentric latitude is phi, right? Geocentric latitude means the angle which it makes with the equatorial plane. The point P makes an angle phi with the equatorial plane at the center. So we call it as geocentric latitude. Now what is uh, the geodetic latitude? The geodetic latitude is if at point P I draw a tangent. Now to this tangent I draw a line which makes an angle of 90 degree with this. Then the angle subtended by the line with the equatorial plane is known as the geodetic latitude right so we have to find the phi we have to find phi d and then we have to find j2 and beta right now first of all we know the coefficient m is given by omega square a cube divided by gm where omega is the angular speed of the earth about its rotational axis that is the polar axis that is given by 2 pi divided by t where t is the time period of the earth's rotation. This m is basically the ratio of the centrifugal force to the gravitational force. Now if we take this a cube here so what we get here it is m g m divided by omega square using the value of omega so we get m is equal to g uh, this a cube is equal to m g m divided by 4 pi square divided by t square. So now a is equal to m g m t square divided by 4 pi square raised to the power 1 by 3. So giving the values of all these uh, parameters, so what we get? We get 6378.127 kilometer. So the equatorial radius here is equal to this much. Now we have to find the earth's flattening. So what is Earth's flattening? Earth's flattening is nothing. It is only when we go from the equator to the pole, the flatness increases because at the equator the Earth is bulged and at the poles the, equator, the, uh, the Earth is flattened. So how do we get this flattening? Uh, uh, you can uh, get the concept here. So if we have a sphere, now if the sphere is compressed under the compressional force, so that it turns out to be an ellipse, then uh, it gets flattened at the poles. So this flattening is known as, it is known as Earth's flattening. Now how do we calculate this Earth's flattening? It is denoted by alpha is equal the equatorial radius minus the polar radius divided by the polar radius, right? So giving the values of these, so we get here alpha is equal to 3.3529 into 10 to the power minus 3, right? It is just a ratio that determines the earth's flattening, right? Now, what is this r equal to? That is the, the radius vector. This radius vector is related to alpha and the uh, geocentric latitude as r is equal to a 
1 minus alpha sine square, uh, 1 minus alpha sine square, this is 5, right? So, giving the values of R, so R we know here, that is the radius vector, this is the radius vector. So, this R is equal to 637.031. Now, giving the values of A, then alpha, so we have here sine square alpha, sine square uh, phi left, right? So, uh, after calculations, what we get, phi is equal to plus minus 37 degree 58 minute 28 seconds. So here we get two values of phi. That is the plus and the minus. That means the point may lie here. So for this point, the angle is positive in anti-clockwise direction. Or we can have the point here also. So it can be here. So then phi is equal to this much. That is the negative angle. So since uh, sine is quadratic here, so we get the two values. The point may lie here or the point may lie here. Okay. Now again, we have to find the uh, this uh, geodetic latitude. Now geodetic latitude and uh, geocentric latitude, they are related to each other as tan phi d is equal to 1 by 1 minus alpha whole square tan phi, right? So tan phi d is equal to giving the value of alpha here. So then it is tan phi. So now from the calculations we get phi d is equal, it is uh, plus minus 38 degrees 0, 09 minutes and 35 seconds. Again, the phi d has two values. So that means the point may lie here or the point may lie here. The latitude will be here also, right? So we can have two values of this uh, phi and phi d. Now what is dynamic factor? So dynamic factor is, that is a uh, this uh, J2, J2 is simply uh, alpha equal to 3 by 2, J2 plus M by 2. So now uh, J2 is equal to, uh, if we take uh, this M by 2 here, so it is alpha minus M by 2, then 3 by 2, it will go here, so it will be 2 by 3. So J2 is equal to giving value of alpha and giving the value of M. So what we get here, J2 is equal to this much. So this is the dynamic factor of the earth. Now we have the gravity flattening, that is another value, so that is beta. Now what is beta? Beta we know the value of acceleration due to gravity, that is the normal gravity. The normal gravity on the poles is denoted by gamma p, the normal gravity on the equator is denoted by the gamma e. We know when we go from the equator to poles, the value of g decreases, right? So acceleration due to gravity, uh, this uh, the value of g uh, changes from equator to poles, right? So it will increase from the equator to the poles. So now beta is equal, to, it is uh, gamma p minus gamma e divided by gamma e. That is the change in the value of acceleration due to gravity when we go from the pole to equator per unit value of acceleration due to gravity on the equator. So this is known as the gravity flattening. This gravity flattening is given by beta equal to m by two, this phi by 2 m minus alpha, right? So now m we already know, alpha we have calculated. So substituting the values from here, so we have this alpha here and we have m here. So giving the values of m and alpha, after calculations what we get, we get beta is equal to 5.2533 into 10 to the power minus 3. So these are the four parameters that we have calculated here. One is the phi, that is this factor. This is known as geocentric latitude. And then there is another parameter that is geodetic latitude. And then there is another factor that is uh, J2, which is the dynamic factor. This we have also calculated and then we have the gravity factor. So in this problem, four uh, these uh, unknowns have to be calculated. So these four unknowns we have calculated using the concept of this ellipsoid.